Hi, I'm David Michael Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about how to visit an inmate at the Durango Jail. Now, the Durango Jail is located at 3225 West Gibson Lane. Basically, you take 35th Avenue or 27th Avenue, and when you hit Durango, head towards the middle, which is about 29th Avenue. You're going to run into Gibson Lane, and then you're going to head south. Now, as you're going south, it's going to bend to the right, and you're going to pass the uh, Towers Jail and 10th city jail and you're going to go down to about 32nd avenue and there's the towers jail park on the north side of the street there'll be some parking walk across to the south side and uh, go into the front office now make sure you don't go to the towers jail or tent city that means you haven't gone far enough now when you meet with the inmate you're going to get a face-to-face -face meeting at a table there's going to be a little divider you're not allowed to touch the inmate or pass any papers but you can talk to them if you have any questions you can call the sheriff's information management system line that is at 602-876-0322. And if you want to call the Durango Jail directly to ask about uh, visitation uh, restrictions, you can call 602-876-3555. Now, as to general visitation rules, they are allowed to receive visitors from Sunday through Monday, that's every day of the week, from 8 in the morning till 8 at night. Last check-in is at 715. Each inmate gets one 30-minute visitation per week. The maximum is two visitors at a time. If you have a baby with you or a child, if they are under 12 months old, that doesn't count, but if they're over 12 months, they count as a visitor. Make sure you have a valid ID with you, not a swap meet ID or a Sam's Club ID. It has to be a valid government-issued ID, uh, either a driver's license, a DMV ID, a passport, something like that. You can have no felony convictions. They won't let you in. Uh, you can have done no jail time in the previous 12 months in a Maricopa County Jail. They won't let you in. No illegal aliens. They also won't let you in. If you are under 18, you are allowed to visit at the Durango Jail, but you must be accompanied by an adult. If you are a spouse, let's say you're 17 and you're married, you can go without an adult, but you have to have a valid marriage certificate to show them. Um, make sure that uh, uh, the ID is valid. We've covered that. And also, if you have somebody with you or you yourself are under 14, you don't need any valid ID, just be with an adult. Dress code, dress conservatively. They won't let you in if it looks inappropriate. So dress as if you're going to a job interview. When you get there, fill out the white form. Put the inmate's name, his date of birth, and preferably his booking number. Get the ID with it, go up to the window, slide it under the drawer together, and then they'll call you when your name comes up. Now, if your loved one is in the pretrial phase, meaning they haven't been convicted of anything, but they're sitting in jail awaiting their case, give us a call. We can help. Um, call us at 602-307-0808, or you go to our website, dmcantor.com, and fill out a contact us form. We will set a free 30-minute consultation in our office. doesn't cost anything, but it takes 30 minutes of your time. If the person has pled guilty and they're not yet sentenced, Give us a call. Maybe we can help get them the lower range of the sentencing. If the person has been sentenced, give us a call. We can handle an appeal, a post-conviction relief petition, or even a sentence modification to try and shorten their sentence. But if this applies to you, we look forward to hearing from you soon. See you then.